right. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to week one of our self-love adventure of the journey. And uh, our first short, shorter yoga flow that I'm going to offer you this week. This flow you can practice um, as many times of the week as you want. You can practice them ongoing. You have the link available to you to use whenever you like. Um, the three poses that we're going to work on this week will be child's pose, cat cow, and camel pose. We're gonna go through this flow. I'm gonna warm the body up and we'll go through each pose. And then there's gonna be an additional video breaking down each pose and what parts of the body to focus on while we're in the pose, how to expand and grow in the pose, and then um, some other tidbits about that particular pose for each one. So some of them are really good for tapping into the, the uh, intuitive parts of us. Some of them are really good for bringing that grounding and st stabilizing sensation. Some, some ways that you hold the body are good for strengthening the muscles. Some ways that you hold or point the body are better for, for building flexibility. So I wanna talk through all of that as we go. But as far as for this part, it's going to be um, delivered as your yoga class of the week. So we're going to start in a seat. Take some time and get to a seat, whether you're on the mat or on the floor, wherever you're um, practicing with me from. Start to come into a seat on the floor, reaching for cross leg as much as you can from where you are without any pain behind the knees or hips. If you have any blocks or pillows, you can put them under. But otherwise, find your way to comfort here. And as you get there, lean in more, lift away the left and right of uh, um, sits bones, the, the fleshy part of our seat, and sit your sits bones closer onto the mat. And then let the body sit up again. You'll almost feel, you will likely feel your sits bones actually touching the mat versus being on top of the mat. Anytime you start practice, reach for that movement. I also want to just introduce the idea that this is going to be like one great big ongoing yoga session. So this is the first plug of learning this great big yoga session. So each time we show up, I may not say all the cues, but if while you're learning, especially while we're doing the week, um, each week while we're doing the three poses per week to focus on, you know, let your body remember what feels good. Don't rush into spaces. You know, each time you arrive on that mat, take your time and let yourself come into your seat. You know, yes, this just seems like I'm sitting, but my body is aligned with the mat and right away I'm starting to get that sensation of relaxing. My body knows that when I'm in this posture that I'm tuning into my emotional body. So we start hmm, to create and wire cues so that our body knows it's time. You know, it's, it's our time, it's me time. And, and from there, we're gonna go back to our practice. So in the seat, let the eyes start to relax, looking down at the floor or the nose. And if it feels completely comfortable to close them, close them now. Relax the face, relax the jaw. If you can imagine your crown area being light, do that too. The seat is stably planted, rooted into the mat, into the ground. The spine is strong. The arms are alongside the body or in the lap, however it feels good to you now. Let's take a deep breath in the nose. <clears throat> Fill the body with air. And then exhale out of the mouth, blow it all the way away. Same thing, inhale in the nose. Hold it at the top for just a second, if that feels good to you. And then when you're ready, blow it all the way away. 
nice and steady. Let a pulse come again. Inhale in the nose. Hold on to it at the top. And then exhale out of the mouth. A little pause. And then inhale in the nose. Hold on to it for a minute at the top. Exhale through the mouth. One more pause. Inhale in the nose. Hang on to it at the top. And then exhale all the way away. Feel into the body. Notice any sensations of tingling or maybe you can feel energy moving around inside of the body. Maybe there is a temperature change. Maybe it doesn't feel like anything at all. But just let yourself sort of be very aware, not, not judgmental, just aware of what's happening inside of the body right now. As we move through our poses each week and each practice, and as you're going through your day, when you can find those minutes to sneak in a pose, I invite you to also try to drop into the mind and see if there's anything there, like almost imagine checking your spiritual email or your messages from your inner being. Anything for me up there, higher power? Now we're just going to twist and warm the spine. You can blink the eyes open. <clears throat> Let the spine sit up nice and strong. Bring the attention to the shoulders. And with the arms laying on, oh, I'm sorry, sitting in the lap, just inhale, bring the shoulders up to the ears. Hold on to that for a second. You can even let the breath go. And then the next time you inhale, start to make a circle with the shoulders. Like, Purposely draw under, 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 and then bring the arms forward all the way back at the top. And do this a couple of times, imagining the shoulder caps drawing circles on the outside air around your body. Let your arms move if that feels good to sort of push and pull in the energy. And then one more time, meet at the top, the breath in, Reach the crown really high and go the opposite way. Just get into the idea of moving everything both ways as we learn into this yoga practice. Whether it's gradual movements like this or bigger, stronger movements like down dog or camel, you always want to think, take it both ways, okay? Let the self sit up nice and tall. Think into that navel center and just let the mind come there for a moment. As you breathe in, let your everything touching the mat root deeper into the mat and bring the awareness to that belly button. Exhale, let the breath go. Next time, inhale, and then from that belly button space, twist to the right as much as you can without any discomfort or really forcing in. You're just imagining this belly button space to the right. Hold on to the thigh, the mat, let the breath go. Inhale again, and when you do, do that same notion of pressing into the mat, reaching the spine long, but staying in this little twist from the middle. Now we're going to the heart center. And with that breath in and long, a little more to the right from that middle of the, of the spine. Reposition the hands on the thigh or on, and or behind you on the mat or the floor. If there's, you always wanna check the neck. Always once you're there, just look, do a yes and no. You don't wanna have that neck any more 
looking over that shoulder and it's comfortable, okay? It doesn't need to go anymore. And then that last breath in, we're taking the shoulders and we're taking our eyes, again, only to our comfortable mats. Inhale, press into the seat, reach the spine long and go all the way into your max space for this twist for right now. Go ahead, check, yes, no. And then find your space in that breath. I like to flip my palm like face away and anchor that into my thigh. And it sort of helps me pull my heart through. So once you're in there without any pain, you can start to finesse your pose. Find ways to enhance the way that you feel. Find more room for breath. We'll do that now. There's no pain in my neck. There's no pain in my spine. I'm gonna flip my palm away from me, thumb up, put it on that thigh. My, it's on my left, sorry. My left arm and forearm are on my right thigh. And I'm gonna sort of press it in there. And on an inhale, look a little more over that right shoulder. Always do the nest note, always do the no check. And then settle in for a breath. You can relax your eyes. If any pain comes, just ease out just a nudge. If it feels better to move more into it, do that. You can even let the head surrender all the way like you're um, leaning and looking into the heart, chest center, just bowing the head, neck in wherever you are. One more breath. Then inhale, lift the head. And then we're gonna reach the spine high and then undo starting from the navel. Upper, complete back. And just look a little over that opposite shoulder, looking a little left. It's almost like wringing out a rag. It feels so good in the spine for me. And if you can get that spot to work for you, you'll like it. It'll feel good to you. Look that way and then bring it back into the middle. Whew, sit up and let that space rest. Feel into that right side body. Take a breath in. Isolate that space in the navel. Let the breath go. Keep the shape, inhale. Just to the left from that belly button space, hold on to the thigh, hold on to the floor. Exhale, let the breath go. Inhale, reach the spine high. Look from now the chest, middle body, heart center. Looking left, no, no pain. I can still shake my head, no. One more breath in, I reach high with the crown and I go all the way into that twist, looking left, reaching my shoulders and then finding once there, my neck is comfortable, taking that forearm and now flipping the hand, palm face up, thumb lined up with that knee and just pull the heart through. Look up if that feels good. Press into the mat behind you and really like you're juicing a fruit. Get all that out. It feels, it can feel really, if there's any pain, back out. This should not feel painful. And a breath. Find to relax. Feels good, let the head bow. You can change the position back, put the palm back and sort of cup the thigh. When you touch yourself, touch yourself lovingly. One more breath. Inhale, press into the mat, reach the crown high. And then from the navel first, undo the twist. Middle of the back comes next. Upper shoulders and even looking over the right. Ooh. And then back to the middle. Set the whole body in there for a moment. If it feels good, I invite you to bring your thumb and first finger to meet each other in the hand mudra. Let the other finger sort of splay open. Relax the mind, relax the face. 
Feel into your body. This is an introduction or a reintroduction. Take a nice exhale. We're going to come onto hands and knees. However, that's comfortable for you to get there in your body, do that. I'm going to move between um, positions so that you can see me to the side and see me face forward. I just encourage you to get um, along with your mat so that your front is facing the front of your mat as if you were in class. So from there, coming to hands and knees, take your hands and your knees a little bit wider than you would think to come into that first tabletop shape. Okay. And the reason being is you want to imagine letting the heart and that lower abdomen move through the opening of the shoulders and the hips. So taking it wider gives you more space for opening. If everything's squeezed together and you can't really get, you know, it doesn't really go far. So give yourself the space, especially when you're just getting in here and warming up. Once everything is here in the shape of table, Start pressing the fingers, press the knees, press the tops of the toes, the tops of the feet, press the shins, anything touching. Not all of my calves are touching. Press everything into the mat, relax the face. Let the legs feel sturdy and strong. Inhale and start to look up. Let the belly reach for the ground and then exhale, let it go. From here, just imagine letting that belly kind of keep reaching and reaching and reaching. Stay low in that belly reach. I haven't warmed up yet, I'm doing it with you. My hands, my legs are still in that foundation of table, but I drop the belly, look up at the chin, look up at the eyes. Let the sits bones move behind me to let that front belly Go lower to, to the ground too. And just be cool. Another breath. Now we're gonna take a breath in, let that belly reach one more time. And then as we exhale, blow the air out of the mouth and let your spine reach toward the sky. Go way high, shake the head no. Go up into your first cat pose and just press into the mat, press the fingers especially your index fingers and your thumbs, press them a lot. Reach the pinky toes, even if they're not touching, just reach the pinky toes so the outer edges of the feet are working too. Next breath in, reach the spine high to the sky again. And when you go to exhale, let the belly drop, look up, come into cow. Let the breath Another breath in, let the belly go down low, and then exhale, round the back, go up into cow, inhale, down into cat, exhale, up into cow, inhale, down into cat. Stay in cat for a moment and look over your right shoulder, almost like you're trying to look back at your right pinky toes, but maybe you can't even see. The belly is still low in cat. And I'm just looking. Bring it back to the middle. Look over that left shoulder. Again, only go as far as you can without any pain. I'm still in my cat pose. And I'm just looking over the shoulder. Stretching this whole side body. All the stretch. Bring it back to the middle. Now exhale, round the back, blow the air away and go way high, back up into your cow pose. Or cat pose. Way high into the cat pose, meow. From here, we're gonna keep the spine high and lean a little forward over the wrists and then a little back over the knees. Just see that motion, a little forward and a little back. Exhale, come back to table. Shake that no a little. We're gonna, we're gonna stretch the wrists a little while we're here. 
So press that right hand deep into the mat and pick up the left and just reverse the hand almost as if you put it down backwards, the opposite mirror or the right. Gently apply some weight, apply some pressure very slowly as it feels good into that wrist. I sometimes like to inhale and exhale my breath there too. Pick it up, make a couple circles, put it back down. Pick up that opposite hand, flip the hand backwards, gently press it into the mat, apply weight gradually, take your time. Take the hand up, make a couple circles. From here, we're gonna bring those big toes together. We got the knees still wide, bring the big toes together. Send those knees a little wider and then sit back into the opening with the bum, taking the body into child's pose. Let that upper body just come down to the mat. You can take the, um, the forearms and sort of cross them, make a little pillow. If it feels good, bring your third eye to the pillow, to the ground. You can take two fists if you want more height. You can use block or pillow. But try to bring third eye contact here. We're gonna work on this pose this week for our awareness, our intuition connection, and also um, to learn this pose for just relaxing our anxiety and just relaxing into our body. This is a great one to do in bed, like when you're getting ready to settle down for the night, it relaxes you, it opens the hips up and just gets you all ready to relax, relax, deep in the bed. Inhale in the breath, exhale. Inhale and exhale one more time. So this is child's pose. We were just moving through cat-cow. I'm going to offer a short little flow that you can do with all of them. And, um, you know, kind of starting wherever you are and moving in and through it as much as it feels good, as fast as it feels good to you and as slow. Um, <clears throat> Remember the things that we already have mentioned. If there's any neck pain, back out. Any um, pain behind the knees or in the hips, anywhere there's anything pulling, just back out just a little. You can let your body gradually go into the pose versus you forcing your pose onto your body. And you'll find this, this relationship between you on the mat comes together really fast and magically. So coming back into tabletop, we were in child's pose. For that, you just kind of lift back up, open the feet back into table. And now we're gonna bring the, um, we're gonna bring those hands and knees in just a little bit, just a little bit more. We're still space to move through. You don't wanna close, but now you're thinking my thumb is lined up with my shoulder and then my knee is mirroring my wrist. If you need more space, make more space. If it feels better together more, make more together. This is the parts where you kind of tune into your body and do what feels best for you. Here at table, I'm gonna have you point the toes into the mat, okay? Hands, press the hands into the mat. Bring your awareness to those index fingers and thumbs, press them into the mat. From tabletop with relaxed jaw, Inhale, start to look up. Exhale, round the back. Go into cat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the toes together, take the knees wide, sit back in child's pose, relax the third eye. Take a big breath in, <sighs> big sigh out of the mouth. Big 
side. In, inhale and exhale out of the mouth. Another time. Let yourself make sounds if that feels good to you. Practice letting it feel good to you. Notice any sensations in the body. Warm, rushes, cool, tingle. Press back into that tabletop and we're gonna finish with camel pose. We're going to just gently introduce the body into uh, our beginner camel space. And then later in that video where we explore more into camel, I'll give you ideas to go into more of a full expressed camel and to flow it a little bit. Um, but for today, we're just going to go into a slow and gentle camel pose from where we are. So from wherever you are, whether you were in child's pose or table, we're going to take the knees a little wider and then sit back on the feet. If this is not comfortable, bring a pillow here or a block or a cushion of some sort. Just sitting here for a moment, let the, let the body start to sit up nice and tall. Press into the feet, the tops of the feet, into the mat, the knees, the legs, the outer edges of the toes. Sit up nice and tall for a second. Moving a little through hero pose. Breath in and sit up. Sit up nice and tall here. Press, uh, here's where I would recommend a cushion for the knees. You can take a blanket and double that or triple that depending on how much cushion you need or like. But keep that shin and foot space more anchored flat on the ground for your support and stability. The knees, pat them up guys, it doesn't have to hurt. Spread the toes behind you, even if it's just by reaching that pinky toe down. Take the hands and we're gonna place them on the back. <clears throat> Fingers pointing down toward the ground, thumbs out away from the body. So putting my hands on that lower back. Knees are comfortable, toes are reaching. Hands on that lower back. First, I'm just gonna start to look really intentionally forward, bringing just my heart forward and imagining hugging those elbows a little closer together. Press the knees into the mat, look up a little more. Do not drop your head. You can reposition the hands a little so the pinkies get closer. Press that abdomen forward a little. Look up, don't drop your head. Breathe gradually into more space. You can look up as much as it feels good. If it feels good to look all the way up as you keep supporting that lower spine, do that here and breathe. Keep pressing into the mat. If it feels good and you want to try to reach down, you can take the left hand, reach for the heel, right hand, reach for the opposite heel and try to make contact or just stay supported. Keep looking up, do not drop the head, but if you need to lift the head and give the neck a break. Keep pressing your heart forward. You're wanting more to send your heart forward. Strong, supported spine, toes, legs, really pressing. We're working on stability here. Elbows drawing together. Relaxed heart, but forward heart, you know? My head is free. Shut your eyes, find something to stare on, whatever feels good. One more breath. And then take a breath in and start to round, 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 round the back. Come down like we were at near in child's pose, but still just let the body kind of just come down to the ground. Don't, don't do too much with the legs yet. First, just let the body kind of reverse and just adjust. Let the face, so forearms are down now on the mat. Let the face sort of rest. Maybe you feel the energy, the blood, the skin, the muscles kind of reaching back the opposite way. Now take the toes together, make the knees a little wider and come down a little more in a child's pose, relax. 
Take a breath in, exhale, blow all the breath away. Bring your mind down to the base of the spine. Start to relax that place in the spine. Relax the legs, relax the hips. If it feels good, make more space in the hips. Nestle in there, really good and comfortable. Inhale and exhale, let the belly reach more toward the ground. Get really comfortable, let the hammock really hang. Reach everything open and toward the ground, toward our earth. Ground, relax, body. Inhale again, bringing attention to that middle navel center and then up into the heart. Let all that heart start to melt down toward the body. Lean a little left and right, pressing the arms into the mat and then just relaxing them again. Maybe finding just one nudge deeper into your shape. Relax, relax the breath. Relax the lungs. Relax the heart and the spine. Let your attention come up to the shoulders and relax the shoulders. Relax the neck. Relax the jaw. Relax your cheekbones. Relax your ears, your nose. Relax the arms and the hands. Relax the skull and the mind. The whole body can just relax and expose. And just melt for a moment. Nothing to do but be still. Take a breath in and exhale out of the mouth. Another one and just lift the gaze, blink the eyes open. Exhale out of the mouth. And just sit the body up. Start back where we began. Keep the mind quiet, the eyes closed, resting if that feels good. Round in the head, round in the shoulders. Bring your hands into prayer. Deep breath in, bring it all into that heart center for one last notion of self-love. Thank yourself for showing up today. Thank yourself for this journey that you're taking, no matter where you are or have been. Thank yourself for all the things that you'll do today and tomorrow for yourself. For work, for family, for joy, for commitment. I appreciate you being here. Let's take one rubbing of the hands, let the palms rub together. Close our practice. By taking those hands, one on the heart, one on the belly, and breathing into your breath, breathing into your hands. <clears throat> Thank you, friends. Have an amazing week. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing hour. I cannot wait to see you again soon. I want all the feedback, all your questions, all the comments. Let's grow together. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to have a blast. We're going to grow and heal together. See you. Bye.